So we are at Fuse24 in Dublin. I'm here with Caroline Chan. She is the VP and GM of the 5G Infrastructure Division, Network Platform Group at Intel, and probably has the longest job title here at Fuse this year. And also with Eugenia Jordan, CMO at TIP, probably the shortest job title at Fuse this year. But also Caroline is... is... The new president of TIP. So an even longer, bigger <laughs> business card needed for you these days, Caroline. So thanks very much, both of you, uh, for joining us. So Telecom TV, we've been doing a lot of video here on the show floor. Consequently, I don't really know what's been going on in the, the, the rest of the event. So what's the mood here at Fuse? What, what are the big takeaways? Caroline, let's start with you. The big takeaway for me is I could not enter any meeting room conversation without a two initial AI. So AI is a rage. We could see AI is now penetrating a lot of other verticals, industries, including telco. So we are talking a lot about telco AI here at Fuse. We're talking about how do we bring monetization, acceleration into the telco network, 5G included, Wi-Fi and also, I think that is the, my, my biggest uh, excitement that I sense from the community here. Okay, uh, and Eugenia, TIP is already sort of on top of AI, isn't it, with, it, with what it's doing? Absolutely. You will see AI developments in all of our project groups. If you look at the sessions, if you attended sessions, there's AI in, in transport, the AI, AI in the RAN, and we also um, have a very special telco AI group. It's the newest group, it's our baby, but it's very active. Um, Intel is a co-chair, and thank you very much, and NVIDIA is a co-chair, and Deutsche Telekom, ODT. And as we were preparing for this interview, TIP provides the platform, the community. Where else can you see NVIDIA and Intel together driving a community adoption? Right? We need to create this marketplace for everybody to benefit from. Then we can figure out the market share, what we bring to the table. But it's very important, I think, the message is that we want the community to join us. Your, your MNOs, your, your operators, your software developers, AI, application developers, please join us. The only thing we can make this a successful marketplace for everybody to benefit from. Okay. So, I mean, TIP has been around for a, a few years already, but the industry has changed massively during that time. Uh, you've now got a, a new chair, you have a, a president, uh, Caroline's new president, as we mentioned. But does TIP have a new mission or has the mission evolved? You know, how would you describe TIP right now, Eugenia? So the mission has not changed all these years. TIP was formed um, in 2017 and you, you were our longest I'm serving longest member. Serving yeah. member, board board member. member. Yes. Yes. I remember the history. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it was formed to make sure that new innovative solutions, they get to market. So, and the challenge was for especially new companies, startups, or even existing companies, is how they get to operators. Because there was a disconnect. Um, no one knew what operators wanted. So it became that platform community where we get um, requirement specifications from mobile operators, then vendors work on the roadmap that is actually meets the needs, and then we test and validate. This year, we validated over 40 solutions. Just at Fuse alone, we announced three new badges. And those badges, they help many companies with path to market. One of our members announced today that MTN, who is on the board as well, and also very active member in the OPT group, they just got deployment contract from that customer. Congratulations, IP Fusion. For yes, that, yeah? yes, yes, yes. And that mission has not changed. It's to bring everyone together, drive that innovation forward, so we can provide connectivity because our industry, it's all about connectivity. Okay, and Carla, I mean, it's, it's not just about uh, ideas and people wanting to do things and wanting to work together. There's actually an outcome from the work here, isn't Correct. it? Correct. We, I, I mean, even back in, when we first started 2017, we always want to be known as a doers. We don't 
develop specs, but we the one developing blueprints and test plans and actually test and validate. We wanted to accelerate the path to, to the market, to drive a, a commercial viable solutions. As a doer community, we want to get together, we wanted to create this outcome. Today we were actually on talking about the multi-vendor open RAN with AT&T, with Vodafone, MDOS, and myself on the panel. And I brought up to people that this multi-vendor today is happening. It's not just the DUCU and RU. Think about you introducing Wind River, Red Hat, Dell, HPE, and all the applications, the RIC, the uh, SR, S apps, R, R apps into this community. In the early days when I was working in wireless, it, the conversation would have been very short, very simple, one, two <laughs> vendors. Now you truly are a multi-vendor software driven network. With that in mind, I think TIP's mission hasn't changed, but TIP's mission continues to be bringing a solution to the market faster for our members. Okay. Now, you mentioned there, when you were talking about uh, MTN, um, you know, where they've been working is in the optical domain. And a lot of people think of TIP and they think of Open RAN because Open RAN you know, gets a lot of headlines and there's a lot of noise around it and everything. But TIP has always been about much more than just Open RAN, hasn't it? So uh, how many working groups are there at the moment in TIP, Eugenia? So we have uh, a few very active groups. And if you look at the network, it's all across the network components. We have obviously Open RAN, and it's now very software oriented. We now have two groups. One is for automation and another one is around RIC. So it's all software oriented. We um, bring new startups to innovate in the RIC space, um, like Caroline was saying in the um, Arab space. Um, then there's obviously OPT, Open Optical, and there's a lot of badges um, issued in that group as well and a lot of deployments and it's not just mtn it's telefonica and you know other operators as well then obviously telco ai this is the most active group and what is interesting about the way we bring we bring telco ai into what we do it's not just for the RAN. It's across all the project end to end, groups. End to end, telco. End to end, yes. telco AI. Okay. And we have open Wi-Fi group as well. And, oh yes, yeah. cannot forget that because thank you. <laughs> because we deployed over 100,000 access points. And many operators, you saw Rob Sony from at and also our new chairman on the panel talking about open Wi-Fi. A lot of interest and a lot of deployments thanks to TIP happening in that area. Okay. And, and Caroline, this seems all very reflective of where the telecom operator community is going because essentially they're all moving towards a sort of next generation infrastructure, aren't they? Something that's completely different and requires probably new advanced technologies. Yes. I mean, people always talked about, you know, commercial off the shelf, but does the telecom sector need something a little bit more than that? And it pressing companies like Intel to deliver that as well? So we, it, yes, uh, we are doing that. Uh, in, in fact, as speaking as Intel, our new uh, silicon chips are coming out has building AI acceleration in there. So we are answering to the market and you're right. When you talk about uh, refreshing cycles, ref like in fact, at t which is on the panel, talk about what they are doing now is we're touching about 70% of their network. That's a tremendous amount of investment they made. And you need to be staying in the market for a while. So what the innovation that we are driving is around the software. When they put in that kind of capex in the marketplace, when do you get the revenue back? It is driving all this application, the software innovation, automation, that, that we talk about. And the telco AI, I just came out of a meeting with, a, with an operator who called themselves Techco in their market space, because they really see themselves as a connectivity foundation, but really delivering banking solutions, retail solutions mm -hmm. to, the, to their verticals. When that kind of changing landscape, we have to answer that landscape. So telco AI, 
you fought out of that. And this this requires a new platform approach, doesn't yes, it, to be able to deliver all these so. services? Very and I guess much this so. is what really, in a, on a big picture way, this is what TIP is focused on helping to deliver that, right? Very much so. It's not just about giving you, here's a server. <laughs> it is about giving you a solution, including application it tested, integrated, that suits particular vertical. I came out of that meeting very energized because they were talking about specifically a banking solution with a retail uh, points of sale security. When you get into that level of detail, that's when you start driving success, outcome for our members. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's why Telecom TV for years has been talking about the digital service provider, because that's really where we're heading from the communication service. I like that brand, digital service provider. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, I mean, finally, uh, what is next for, for TIP? And I, and I, and I know that uh, people here are already thinking, OK, so this Fuse 24 is nearly over, but will it be back in Dublin next year? What will TIP look like next year? So what's next for TIP? And is Dublin the location for Fuse 25? <laughs> when we know, everyone will know. We're communities, so we want to ask our members what they, and we've been talking to our members, um, and if our community decides to come back to Dublin, or if the community decides to select another location, we'll go where our community wants to go, because our job at TIP is to provide the platform for our members to become successful in the commercial space. Okay. And Caroline, I mean, what do you think people will expect from TIP in the, in the next year? What, what will they be looking from, from TIP to, to deliver to the market? Um, my guess, um, we we'll look at the survey, but just based on the interaction we have, they, they would like us to accelerate the market. It really is a lot of hunger about uh, what, what you know, you could see the hardware investment is flat, so they need to find new ways to generate revenue. For us, we need to together we we'll deliver solutions, platforms, in, in your words, and deliver that driving the outcome. Connect them to the buyers, connect them to the end users. End users at many places at this point, it's not just the operators; it's probably their customers like the oil and gas, like the hospitals and, and retail. So driving the entire solution, uh, I've been hearing from our members just verbally, that is what they would like to see from us. And we will be working together with them to deliver that. Okay. And also our operators members, they want innovation. They want innovation. Yes. They want a business outcomes. They want more revenue from the investment they already made in their network. Absolutely. Okay. Great point to end on. Caroline, Eugenia, thanks very much for joining us today and congratulations on the event. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having, having us. us. <laughs>